now. First responders training on the Purple People Bridge. So if you look outside, you're wondering what's happening. This is a training. Yes, they are exercising their rescue skills with ropes so that they'll be ready if they need to jump into action. This, of course, after a semi truck crashed into a bridge in Louisville and the driver had to be saved by firefighters. So our News 5 co-anchor Stephen Albritton joins us live from this training. And Stephen, good afternoon to you. Yeah, when I heard there was a ropes course down here, I thought I was in a chance to get up and go on it, but you got to let the first responders get trained so they can be there when the moment happens. So we're on the Purple People Bridge right now. You see they have a dummy up there, and what they're doing is they take ropes courses. They go up there in case they have a victim. Maybe there's a window washer stuck, but then they have other ropes course happenings where if somebody falls over the bridge, maybe a car, maybe a truck, maybe what you saw in Louisville, which we're going to show you here again in just a second, they're coming out here in training to make sure they have those skills necessary and ready to go in case that worst case scenario happens. We have a lot of jurisdictions from both sides of the river. Your Hamilton County search and rescue. I've seen Montgomery. I've seen Deerfield, Covington, Newport, you name it. There's at least probably one person from so many of our search jurisdictions around here getting that training. But all of this was actually planned even after what we saw in Louisville when we saw that semi truck crash through that bridge and almost go all the way into the water. But it's this training that gets them ready to go into action for things like this. And they train all over the region. One was telling me that they have went up to Kings Island to practice on roller coasters if one gets stuck. But it's these moments that they want to be ready and all of them come out here to be on top of things in case that call comes in where they all have to respond. Okay, stop. Obviously on, on, a, on a very advanced rescue, it takes a lot of bodies, um, a lot of know-how. So this is all, you know, most of these folks that train in this world in the technical rescue world all know each other. Uh, there's a lot of folks here that also operate for the Ohio Task Force One. Um, so, you know, it's getting together in smaller groups in the task force and uh, carrying out training that you could see any any moment, you know, one of these. It doesn't happen a lot, but when it happens, you need to be ready. Yeah, and they're making sure they're ready. This is the other end of the rope where you just saw the firefighter go over the edge of the bridge. They make sure everything is attached. Safety is paramount. They make sure they are safe and they make sure that the line that they are using is also safe in case they need to bring up a victim, go get a victim. That is what the training is for. So once again, like Kelly and Megan, you guys were mentioning, if you see something happening here on the Purple People Bridge, it is just training. They're going to be here till about 3 o'clock today. Then we'll be back out here tomorrow again to make sure they're on top of things. I'm Stephen Albritton. I'll send it back to you guys in the studio. I I'm still not convinced he's not going to try to.